A smith mcgainis syndrome uh, was described about 20 years ago uh, and it's a condition that has uh, multiple features. In children it's a delay uh, in both their, what we call their motor development, so they're slow to learn to walk and there's also often very delayed speech development and this goes hand in hand with a variable degree of intellectual disability. So children are often slow to develop but they do eventually attain their milestones. My daughter's name is Indiana. She's two and a half years old and was diagnosed with smith mcginnis syndrome when she was nine weeks old. Some of Indiana's symptoms include head banging, self-harm, there's developmental delays in both speech and movement. She also has sensitivity to heat. She could touch something hot, burn her hand and not feel it. There's a whole list of problems that an SMS child may have. It all varies from child to child. Indiana has had um, over time a lack of initiation of movement and so we've actually had to teach and practice um, all of the motor activities that she's learned to do. So Indiana's had to learn how to sit, how to learn how to get into standing, how to learn how to crawl um, and at the moment we're practicing standing and stepping um, and hopefully to progress to independent walking fairly soon. One of the distinctive features of smith mcgainis syndrome is disturbance of sleep. They have what's called an inverted circadian rhythm. So that means that the levels of a hormone called melatonin that induce sleep, which are usually high at night and low during the day, are reversed. And so uh, melatonin levels are low at night leading to sleep disturbance and can be quite high during the day leading to sleepiness. And obviously that's a challenge. Indiana's main issue was her erratic sleeping pattern. She could go from wide awake to sound asleep in two seconds. Most nights she's awake for several hours and can survive on a 24-hour period with just five hours sleep. SMS Australia is an Australian non-for-profit charity that focuses on smith mcginnis syndrome. Uh, it was founded by a group of mums um, who all have children with uh, smith mcginnis syndrome and it was really to start raising awareness, create a sense of community because we're a really small community so being able to have representatives in each state that can do activities, um, bring people together so we have picnics a couple times a year um, that we get everyone together and the families we have you know, a range of kids of ages and sizes and, and parents and it's really to garnish that community and then raise awareness through social media campaigns, um, through a website. We understand the statistics are 1 in 25,000 should be in the population, but obviously it's much less than that. You know, we should have thousands of SMS diagnosis and it's just very underdiagnosed. So it is hard um, in a lot of ways to raise awareness because you don't have perhaps celebrities or you know people in the media that you know are raising that kind of awareness so it has to be very grassroots um, and there's a lot of rare uh, disorders out there that um, you know that are also kind of trying to fight that same fight to raise awareness Indiana has consistently shown progress and improvement over time um, and every month, if you look month on month on month, she is doing new skills but it isn't an easy process and it has taken a lot of time and effort on the behalf of her family to practice those activities for Indiana to develop those skills. Indiana has the ability to always make us laugh. She gives the greatest hugs and her development is improving faster than anticipated thanks to early intervention. One of the nice things about smith mcginnis kids is that they're very engaging. Uh, they're very inquisitive uh, and they enjoy interacting with other people and that was certainly the case with my, with my um, older patient. Um, they do frequently run into medical problems. They can be predisposed to respiratory infections uh, and as mentioned the sleep uh, um, uh, problems are quite challenging. However, uh, once those are, um, uh, are improved, and they usually do improve as the kids grow older, um, then these kids are really are a pleasure to treat. These kids constantly amaze you. Um, you know, we have kids that are in the Special Olympics and they do swimming and, you know, they, they do cycling and, and running. It, um, the, the memories of these kids is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I don't, I, I know for my own daughter, um, she can remember a situation seven years ago and name the person and where we were and, and come and this is so common when you meet these kids that they, they just have an incredible memory.